Hi everyone. Last time you were in art class, we started our very first project and we are working on a name project, but it's not your typical name project. So what we have been doing is using line to draw our letters so that they can be filled in. So it's not just single lines, it's lines attached together to make shapes, but those shapes are pretty cool. So what your job was, was to think about yourself, think about different things that you like, and then come up with a way to write your name using some of the things that you like. If you happen to miss the last video, you'll need to go back and watch that again so that you really understand how to start the project. Okay, so last time you worked on brainstorming and coming up with items that you, um, that you really like, and then coming up with things that you could use to draw the letters of your name. I believe I told you you could use your first name or your last name. Um, I just wanna make sure that I know who it belongs to, okay, when I see pictures of it. So please stick with your first name or your last name. So this is what I did and your job was to work on this. And if you have not finished drawing yet, I want you to finish drawing. And then I want you to move on to the sharpieing part of the project. So you are going to, oh, this brings me to a good point. Sometimes it doesn't dry or doesn't write very well. So you just wanna get a piece of scrap paper and gently scribble on the back and it starts to work again, okay? So you wanna trace everything All right, so now we are going to pretend that I have sharpied all of the project. And we're gonna take a, or I'm sorry, not a Sharpie, an eraser, and go over everything and erase all of those leftover pencil lines. Now, you are going to color using colored pencils. The colors that you use are completely up to you. However, I would try to make things look realistic looking. So a purple baseball probably wouldn't make a whole lot of sense. A white baseball would with the red um, stitching. You might not have like a metallic colored pencil. It depends on what size of um, box of colored pencils you purchased, but you could use like a, a gray or something and that would be perfectly fine. So pick colors that are somewhat realistic. Now, if you did something that's kind of cartoony like this fish here, it makes sense for that to be kind of cartoony colors. You wouldn't have to make this look like, I don't know, a bass or a bluegill or whatever. Just make it look the way you want it to look, okay? So I did happen to get a, a, a box of colored pencils that had a metallic silver in it. So I am going to use that to make my fishing hook. And I'm gonna color it in nice and neatly. And you wanna push sorta of hard on the pencil, not so hard that you break it, but hard enough so that the colors end up really showing up. If I just color like this very lightly, it's really hard to see that. Now, here's something that's kind of cool about colored pencils that you can't do with other things. And I want you to try this somewhere on your project. You can press really hard to make things look dark. So on a fish, a fish is kind of a little bit rounded. It rounds over the top and then down to the other side. And when something goes away from us, it looks darker. So I'm making it really dark along the edge. 
by pressing hard. And then what I can do is press lighter. going in and it gradually fades to a little bit of a lighter color and it makes it look just a little bit more realistic. Now you can also use this doing two colors and I'll show you that on like the tail because that's also a pretty cool technique. So I don't want to fade it out just to white in the center. It's just a lighter version of this turquoise. It's not dark and then light, not like a drastic change from dark to light. It's a gradual change from dark to light. And that's what you want to do. This is kind of one of my favorite things to do is color with colored pencils and make things look as realistic as I can by just by pressing harder and softer. Okay, so I'm not gonna finish the whole thing, but I told you I wanted to show you the tail. So I want my tail to be the same color of turquoise, but I'm gonna use purple along the edge, just like I did with the dark turquoise along the edge up there. I'm going to fade that purple out into the turquoise very gradually. And then I'm also going to bring the turquoise into the purple a little bit. So that's a technique I could do around the whole entire fish if I wanted to. Or you can do it like I did and just do it on the tail. You could do it on the fins also to kind of pull it all together. Okay, so you do not have to finish coloring by the next class time. Um, I do want you to get started with the coloring, but we will have another class or two where we can work on these before I want you to turn them in.